Hi folks, Dr. Robert Barrington here with some more nutrition advice. Now, this video is going to be on um, magnesium monotherapy and how it can be used to, to treat anxiety or depression. I've done two other videos on um, mineral monotherapy that you, um, and I talked about chromium and I talked about zinc previously and how they can be useful uh, at treating uh, mood disorders. So this is really going to finish off um, these 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 videos on on mineral monotherapy because these are uh, potentially the three most useful mineral uh, minerals for uh, for this use. Um, so magnesium is a macro mineral, ma macro mineral, which means that you need it in gram amounts, uh, and really there is a ratio in the diet between calcium magnesium that is required to be maintained uh, within a particular uh, range, and it's not fully understood and what that it's not fully understood what that uh, ratio is between the calcium and the magnesium um, and it will vary uh, between different people but it's suggested that uh, a, a ratio of around um, one to one for calcium to magnesium is what's needed to maintain health now the problem that we have is that the western diet supplies far too much calcium and far too little magnesium and what we tend to see is when we look at research papers that measure the magnesium levels on magnesium intakes of, of individuals, uh, we found that uh, generally those people consuming a typical Western diet have far um, too uh, little magnesium in their diet and far too much calcium. Um, if you eat a diet that is high in plant foods, you tend to redress that imbalance because green leafy vegetables, uh, vegetables in general, they tend to have higher amounts of magnesium, particularly the green leafy vegetables because magnesium is a component of chlorophyll and chlorophyll is what makes those leaves green. So if you eat a lot of green leafy vegetables like spinach, kale, uh, those types of vegetables, you tend to have high amounts of magnesium in your diet. Nuts and seeds also contain high amounts of magnesium. So those people that go out of their way to consume uh, a traditional diet, a more healthy, uh, rounded, balanced diet that contains uh, a lot of plant foods and plant material, they tend to get closer to that magic one-to-one -one ratio. Now, why is this important? Well, magnesium uh, is uh, a macro mineral. It's needed for a large, uh, as a cofactor for a large number of enzymes in the body. And if we have a magnesium deficiency, those enzymes stop working. Now, some of those enzymes are required for neurotransmitter metabolism, either the synthesis, the breakdown uh, of, of neurotransmitters in the brain, and also accessory substances to those, um, uh, to those minerals. And magnesium and calcium is also required for correct electrical conductivity uh, of the nervous system. So magnesium plays a very pivotal point a very pivotal part in brain health and central nervous system health. And if we have a deficiency of magnesium, the central nervous system uh, stops working to maximum efficiency, and this is where mood disorders can develop. And there's been uh, studies um, done on animals uh, that looked at the magnesium uh, intake of animals. And there was one study that I will put the link to in the comments box below this video that looked at uh, magnesium deficiencies in mice. And what they found was that when they took the mice and they fed them a, a diet that contained all of the substances they required, but it was 10% deficient in the amount of magnesium that they required, what they found is that the mice exhibited behavioral changes. And some of those behavioral changes um, were related to uh, an increase in anxious behavior. Um, now this this was is obviously anxiety and depression are very difficult to detect in animals because you can't ask a mouse uh, how it's feeling and anxiety and depression obviously quite generally quite subjective of the person but what they did is they then gave the um they, they gave these animals either st john's wort or an antidepressant drug and what they found is that those symptoms of anxiety and depression were reversed which which con uh, confirmed to the uh, to the authors of the paper that the symptoms that they were observing that they believed were anxious but was anxious behavior in the mice uh, was it, they that confirmed that that was you know there was some kind of component there of anxiety or depression because those uh, st john's wort is an antidepressant and obviously the antidepressant drugs were able to reverse that uh, that deficiency so that's a good piece of evidence that magnesium deficiency is involved in at least the development of or the initiation of um, 
uh, mood disorders, anxiety, depression, which are which are really interlinked mood disorders. They're very difficult to separate sometimes. Um, there have been a number of case studies that looked at magnesium supplementation in humans because animal studies are very interesting, but they don't always give the full picture. So if we have a look at the studies that have been done on humans, um, there was one study, again, I'll put the link to this in the comments box below this video, that was a case study that looked at an individual man um, who was uh, had a history of depression and anxiety. And um, the authors of the, uh, the of this study they um, they gave this uh, this man 300 milligrams of magnesium, uh, which was in a fairly absorbable form, um, uh, and the the magnesium would reduce his anxiety, his, his anxious and depressive symptoms for about four to five hours after he'd taken it, and then gradually uh, the symptoms would return. So that would fit with the magnesium being absorbed, being utilized, uh, and then being, you know, magnesium levels gradually in the blood, perhaps turn, returning to normal. Um, and, and, and therefore, you know, there was, a, there was an observation by these researchers that this magnesium was having a positive effect. What was very interesting about this study was when, when this gentleman uh, took dairy products, which are obviously, you know, are, they're not the greatest source of calcium, but they do supply calcium and they are a reasonable source of calcium. When this gentleman, this subject, took uh, uh, dairy products, he found a word. The, the researchers observed a worsening of his depressive and anxiety, anxious symptoms. Now, that's not to say, and I want to make it very clear that, that that dairy products cause anxiety or depression. What the what the researchers were actually showing was that the it was the imbalance between the calcium and the magnesium that was probably the cause of his depressive symptoms. When you give that, when you get when the subject received magnesium, there was an, there was an easing of his symptoms, and when he received a source. Of of calcium uh, in this case it was a, a, as dairy products there was a, a worsening of his symptoms so that's something to bear in mind um, it was a nice little piece of evidence that actually it was very likely that this person had too little magnesium in his diet and therefore the supplementation uh, of magnesium was beneficial and too much calcium and therefore when he took additional sources of calcium there was a worsening of his symptoms now the thing about magnesium is it's been shown to be uh, a very good muscle relaxant. It's a, it's a very, you know, it's been shown to have calming effects in many studies, particularly on anim in animals and humans. So it's no surprise that it has a benefit against anxiety, um, because anxiety is really a, a, a form of agitation. It's a form of um, a, um, hyper excitability, uh, and and most of the supplements and most of the herbs, most of the the the, you know, even the therapies for reducing anxiety, like meditation. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're aimed at calming the central nervous system. And so they, they're trying to take this agitated state and return it to a state of calm. And magnesium is a very calming mineral. It's a, rela it's a, it's a muscle relaxant uh, because it antagonizes calcium. Calcium is what causes, the release of calcium in muscles is what causes muscles to contract. And um, magnesium is, is, is a calcium channel blocker. It will block the influx of calcium into the muscles and that will cause a relaxing effect. So we know that magnesium has this relaxing effect, but no one really understands why magnesium is effective against uh, depression, um, and no one really understands fully why it's effective against anxiety. But certainly the experiments that have been done on animals and the case studies that have been done on individual humans show that about 300 milligrams of magnesium is a very effective way of, uh, for, for at least for a short period of time, maybe up to five hours, of 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 reducing uh, anxious um, feelings uh, and it also seems to be an effective way at treating people with depression now one possibility is that um, many people have, have, have you know researched magnesium have, have found that it has uh, effects very similar to lithium um, so it may be that these um, you know one of the ways that magnesium is working is through a, some kind of uh, mechanism in the same way as lithium works but it's it's not fully understood you know it could be the general relaxation pr properties it has it could be because these people have magnesium deficiencies and that there's a redress of the of the of the imbalance from calcium magnesium it may be simply that it's having effects that we don't know about in the brain I mean these these divalent metals and remember um, chromium uh, and, and zinc all also have you know very good antidepressant anti-anxiety effects and it's not understood how they work either um, so so the, there may be some mechanism that we don't fully under, understand but certainly zinc chromium and magnesium monotherapy has been shown 
uh, in specific case studies on individual humans uh, uh, to be very effective against treating both anxiety and depression and in animals there's a lot of, lot of evidence that these minerals um, do work to, to decrease anxious behavior and they do have antidepressant effects. So I get asked a lot of questions about um, when people come to my channel and they come to my uh, my blog and they ask me you know I have I have anxiety I have depression what can I do and many have heard about tryptophan many have heard about L-theanine uh, many have heard about uh, GABA uh, and some of the other amino acids and some of the other therapies but very rarely when I mention magnesium has anyone ever come across the fact that magnesium is a very effective antidepressant and a very effective anxiolytic compound uh, it's very cheap, uh, it's very safe, and the benefit is that most people, unless you're very careful with your diet, uh, will require more magnesium anyway, so it will have other health benefits. Um, and it, you know, it, it's one of those things that I think is, is there's no really there's no real downside to trying it because if you try taking 300 milligrams of magnesium a day you're probably going to do yourself good in other ways anyway because you will very likely have an imbalance in your calcium and magne uh, magnesium ratio that will redress other health effects um, and really you know m m taking 300 milligrams of magnesium there's no real down effect it's downside it's not toxic at those 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 doses and i say you need about a i would say you know if you take if you have an intake of about you know let's say you t have an intake of 1500 milligrams of calcium you need to have at least 1500 milligrams of magnesium in your diet just to keep that one to one uh, ratio and if you actually look through your diet or get a nutritionist to look through your diet and add up the amount of magnesium you have in your diet it's actually very difficult and it's uh, to get that amount of magnesium in your diet unless you're very very strict with what you eat and therefore taking a little bit of supplemental magnesium it, it you know it's going to it's going to benefit your health anyway but it could have that extra benefit that it might actually benefit your your mental health and improve your mood so magnesium is worth trying it's a very cheap simple easy effective treatment for anxiety and depression i hope you found that interesting as always eat well stay healthy and protect yourself and I'll see you soon for another video. Take care.